by giving them hope, you give us hope as well. You have become a beacon in Europe for all of us, all of us, who want an alternative to the crisis that we have been plunged into. And this is what we're up against. At the time of the crash, many of us perhaps thought that that was it for neoliberalism. That it was discredited, corrupt, and would leave the stage of history where it belongs. That neoliberalism can stagger around, half dead, zombie-like, if there is no one to administer the killer blow. And so a crisis of the market was turned cleverly and cynically and ruthlessly into a crisis of public spending. And it was determined that those who would pay, that the burden on whose shoulders it would rest, would not be those above, but working people, unemployed people, disabled people, and young people too. They used this as an opportunity to push policies they always wanted to get away with, but didn't think was otherwise politically possible. The prioritisation of our services and utilities, handing them to the private profiteers who circle overhead. The slashing of taxes on those at the top in favour of indirect taxes on those at the bottom. An assault on what remaining rights working people have. The attack on the welfare state and social security. The shifting of wealth and power from the majority to those at the top of society. I look at Spain 